So everybody talking about a post that was from Neo's ex-wife, Crystal. And she made this post on Instagram. And I kind of want to just dive in into that a little bit. Now, she had divorced Neo for, you know, cheating on her in the marriage. So she had every right to divorce him for that. So let's look at the post. I cook when I was asked. I cleaned up dirty drawers and dishes. I was supportive. I was patient. I was nurturing. I was submissive. I listened. I came when I was called upon and asked no questions. I was sexual and never denied or deprived. I was goal oriented. I was beautiful. I was encouraging. I was loving. I was understanding. I was forgiving. I was an ear. I was a shoulder. I was a motivator. I was a believer, a fighter, multidimensional, adventurous, thoughtful. She would say she was loyal, would take a bullet, would sacrifice you say, herself. They say my body, my mind for love because I was human. I was a friend, say I was a lover, I was a woman, say a good woman, yet and still, I was not enough for the wrong man. Do you hear me? I was enough, I was more than enough, but for the wrong man. It did not matter. More of the story, you may be a rib, but a rib cannot fit comfortably into a body it is not designed for. Did you catch that? Now Crystal says at the bottom, food for thought. Now this can happen to anybody. You can be the best person in the world, but that other spouse can do something. They can cheat. Same, a lot of men have said the same thing. They say, yeah, I was a provider. I was a protector. I loved her. I will give my life. I'll give the world to her and do anything for her. And yet she still went out and cheated on me, you know? And when those situations happen, you know, when you do everything right, and the wrong thing happened in a marriage, oh, it makes you feel horrible. Because in your mind, like, I didn't do nothing to deserve that kind of treatment. You're 100% right, but let me tell you about life. Let me tell you about life. When you do something right and people do you wrong, you remove yourself from the situation like Crystal did. But what I found out what happens usually in the end when people do something like that, so you'll move on with your life, and God going to bless you later with, 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 with just in life. He'll bless you later in a relationship. He'll bless you. But the person that did that, oh, they got something coming. And understand, Crystal didn't break marriage covenant. Neo did. He did it. So usually what I've seen when people break marriage covenant like that, love eludes them. They can never really find the love that they had with the person. And I believe Crystal's going to move on and get a good man and he's going to marry her and she'd be straight. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, and and that had to happen to get Crystal away from Neo. That's all. It just had to happen like that, and 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 that's okay. It's not your fault. If that happened to you, ladies, or men, if that's happened to you, you can't control what another person do. You can't second guess yourself. Maybe if I did this, man. No, 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 no. Human beings choose to do what they want to do. You can be the best person in the world and still get done wrong. But, you know, what goes around comes around. That's for sure. It's a full circle in life. So she should be all right going, going down the line. She'll be okay. But, yes, bad things that happen to good people, even people that's investing their whole time and everything into their marriage, there's been plenty of men that's showed up, done everything right, and had a, a divorce paper show up. They, they, had, they had women that were the best wives ever, and then they find out that their husband is, you know, knocking down everything that he can out there and being, and being thoroughly embarrassed in front of family and friends and everything. And even the worst thing for women is when that man not only cheat, but cheat with an ugly woman at that. A woman that everybody knows, why he cheat with her for? That sort of thing, right? I'm not saying that cheating with a, with a woman that looked better than what he got is understandable, but, you know, just a lot of times with women, sometimes they'll be mad, but they'll be like, uh, you know, but when you just cheat with, with when we see how women react, when, when that man cheat with someone that everyone know that that woman's ugly, boy, that, that, that woman get even more outraged when you do that. But moral of the story is you just move on with your life. God going to bless you. Don't, don't be tripping and let that person do what they want to do. Like I said before, love usually eludes them with time. They're not going to get what they had. And, and trust me, everything works out in the end. I promise you that. Uh, so, Crystal, you'll be all right, Crystal. Trust me, you, you'll be all right in the end.